so what we've been working with is called an expression. Um, so for example, we've got this negative 31x minus 38. That's an expression. Another expression would be 3x. That's an expression. In order to make this an equation, I'm going to set it equal to something. So 3x equals 6. Because I have an equal sign, I now have an equation. 3x is equal to 6. So what we're going to start doing now is actually solving these equations. So figuring out what is x. I'm taking 3 times x, some number, and it's equal to 6. Okay. In order to do that, you have to undo what's being done to the variable. So in this case, our variable x is being multiplied by 3. Okay. So if you see a number right next to a variable, it means that it's being multiplied. This is 3 times x equals 6. In order to undo this multiplication, we have to do the opposite of it. The opposite of multiplication is division. Okay, so instead of 3 times x, I'm going to divide. Whatever I do on this side of the equation, I have to do on this side of the equation. So I've got to take the 6 divided by 3 as well. Okay, on this side, 3 divided by 3 is just a 1. Okay, so now I'm just left with 1x. On this side, I've got 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. x equals 2. If you want to check your answer, you can just plug it in. Originally, we had 3x equals 6. If I replace x with a 2, that means I have 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 times 2 is 6, so I'm good to go. Okay. Another example, I'm going to give you guys 6 equals 3x. Now notice, it's similar to before. I just put the 6 on the other side and the 3x. I just flipped the 6 and the 3x. Okay. It still means that 3 is being multiplied by x. So to get the x by itself, I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide the right side by 3. If I divide that side by 3, I have to divide the other side by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is going to cancel. So I'm left with x. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Notice, it doesn't matter what side of the equal sign these terms are on. You still get the same answer. x equals 2. x equals 2. Okay, so to undo multiplication, you're going to do division. Okay, um, another example, 2x equals negative 8. This one is similar, slightly different, okay? So we've got 2x equals negative 8. One thing that some of you might want to do is split your, your equation at the equal sign. So you've got two sides, okay? So right now we've got 2 times x, okay? That x is being multiplied by the 2. So to get rid of that 2, I'm going to divide by 2, okay? Do it on this side as well. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. That's why I drew my line. If you do something on this side of the line, you have to do the same thing on this side of the line. 2 is my can will cancel. Okay, so x is equal negative 8 divided by 2 is a negative 4. Okay, if you can't remember these rules, you can use your calculator. Negative 8 divided by a positive 2 is a negative 4. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. Okay? Next one. Negative 2x equals negative 8. Negative 2x equals negative 8. I'm going to draw my line on my equal sign, so I have my two sides. Got two sides of my equation. 
This time I've got negative 2 being multiplied by x. I have to undo that. I want the x by itself. Divide by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 cancels, so I'm left with my x. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is a positive 4. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. You can check that on your calculator. You can plug in negative 8 divided by negative 2. You'll get x equals 4.